So here we are, match number three of the 2018 World Cup. It's a Mediterranean heavyweight clash, Portugal versus Spain. Oh, the lineups for Portugal are like this. Patricio in goal, Fonte, Alaves, Pepe, Moutinho, Carvalho, Gomez, Silva, Sanchez, Ronaldo, and Quaresma up front. As for Spain, De Gea in goal, Alba, Azapeche, Ramos, Coke, Silva, Herrera, Isico, Busquets, Costa, Pedro, uh, with Iniesta, Pique and Reina on the bench. So as we kick us off, Spain in a uh, blue and red, maybe that's their away jerseys, up against Portugal in their traditional red and green. Now this game will be the third of the World Cup. It will take place on the 15th of June at the Fisht Olympic Stadium in Sochi. Everyone remember Sochi from the Olympics, the Winter Olympics at least. Um... And this is this is a monstrous game for the World Cup, especially opening game of the group. Uh, really stamp your furry on it, especially with a win. And I think a win, you would think, is going to get you through to the, the second round. Uh, obviously, Spain, world champions in 2010. And Portugal currently riding the crest of a wave in Europe as European champions with the likes of one of the best players ever to grace of a football pitch, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, if you're new to this channel and new to my simulated games, you will realise that this is not FIFA 2018 or Pro Evolution 2018. It's in fact uh, FIFA 95, one of the best games ever of my uh, early teen years. I remember when this came, game came out. Uh, it was a revelation of its kind. Um, I think I think uh, we were in England. Um, the old man picked that bad boy up for as a, as a birthday present. And it was the greatest year in football. Oh my goodness! Portugal take a nice early... No, nope, Spain even. Oh, my colour blindness is kicking in right early doors. But Spain take a cheeky early lead. Uh, with only a minute 16 on the clock. Who's got the goal? Let's have a little sneak peek. Eventually, he'll come up eventually. And there it is, Pedro. Chelsea's Pedro gets Spain's noses in front. Uh, but like I said, 95 was the best year in football. As Why is that? Why is that? Because Blackburn Rovers became Premier League champions. If you haven't realized already, uh, this is a Blackburn Rovers related YouTube channel. So uh, that was... Uh, oh my goodness, Spain have taken a second goal. This is balmy. Portugal are not aware in this game whatsoever. 2 0, barely a minute and a half gone, and it's Costa. Former Chelsea striker Costa now on the books at Atletico Madrid. He's got the second. Spain are, in, uh, are already packing their bags. No, they're not. They're, they're getting ready for the second round because they are in cruise control. Portugal haven't even had uh, started up, tied up their shoelaces yet. It's 2 0. Spain here with a throw. A third would be embarrassing. Now, maybe can Portugal find something back in it? There's a chance. It's a great early shot. And that's uh, straight down the throat of the Gea. Cool as you like with his 95 throwback hairstyle. Second shot, though. That's not a bad effort. That's not a bad So they're, they're, they're trying to fight their way back in this one. Uh, we do play two formative halves. Uh, and in when Spain and Portugal do meet in the World Cup in the real world, this will be the 37th time the two countries have met. And uh, Spain have won 18 of them. And Portugal have only won six. So it's pretty one-sided. So it's going with the, uh, with the form book. Uh, and actually, the last time that these two sides met, it was a draw for Spain. I mean, a draw, a win for Spain. I think it must have been penalties back in 2012 um, in the European Championships. As Portugal now try to find a way back in this, uh, they have Ronaldo on the pitch. His attributes... Uh, I did update his attributes, I updated his, Messi's, Neymar's, uh, Eden Hazard's, some of the real standout players of the world football, I updated those, but uh, the rest of them are uh, as you would take it, just I edited the names. So Spain are as is, as was in the FIFA 95 game, just changed the names, so I think Costa or something like that was, you know, a default Spanish name like Perez or something like that, but anyway, it doesn't really matter, 2-0 uh, up. And they're in cruise control. So without, so Portugal with one of the best players in the whole wide world and on the possibility of the game, they're losing to Spain. 
So what's going to happen in the real world? If you are a fan of either one of these countries and you're uh, new to the channel, please uh, drop a like for the video. Obviously, if you're Spanish, you're probably going to give a big old thumbs up because uh, they're pissing all over the uh, your rivals. They might even get a third here with that effort. Uh, also, drop some comments in the bottom. Uh, if you agree with the starting 11, you probably won't because um, it's a bit of a rough rough around the gills. I might even play four left backs. You never know. I'm, I'm not I'm not up to speed on Spanish football or Portuguese football. I only know of a few key players. So I do apologise if I my my uh, squads are horrendous. Uh, and also let me know your thoughts on the actual World Cup. How you think your country will do? Will Spain be there at the bitter end? Will Portugal with Ronaldo uh, get themselves right in the deep end of the tournament? As the second half is gets underway, Portugal have it all to do here. They need to find some two goals, and preferably early, and then they might might get themselves back in it. But it looks like Spain are in uh, cruise control, and they could get a third, and that would be... Oh, that was not far away. Patricio in between the sticks, having a woeful afternoon. But here we go. Here goes Portugal now. Trying to build. Headed on. Come on, son. No, cleaned up in the midfield by Spain. Looking comfortably, comfortable right now. You would think they would go on and top this group. The group also includes Iran and Morocco. So Portugal probably have got a chance to get themselves back in this. It's not all doom and gloom. One of these teams probably would have expected to lose. As Portugal nearly get themselves back in this. That effort is eventually tipped over for a corner. So we'll see a 95 retro style corner coming in. Headed in there. Someone get on the end of it. Oh, that that deserved the goal. That deserved the goal. That effort from the Portuguese player uh, ended up, and there was like a double bubble, but didn't get in the back of the net. So De Gea doing his business and keeping Portugal out, and that is nasty. That is nasty. Is he going to get booked? Yes, he is. Herrera, the Manchester United midfielder, booked with a yellow card, and uh, and Portugal have the opportunity now to try and get a goal, but that free kick is piss poor. Eventually goes back to Spain and they're adding it. It's 3-0. It's 3-0. No, no way back now for Portugal. Who's on the end of this one? It's got to be a daily double from one of them, either Pedro or Costa. Uh, maybe they're using the Chelsea influence together, understanding each other, working off of each other. And it's Pedro with a daily double. And it's 3-0. And it's embarrassing for Portugal. So they need to lick their wounds in the next game against Morocco or Iran try and get themselves back in this tournament because at the minute they are not looking good at all maybe maybe just maybe they're a one-man band are they one man they're gonna get four it's gonna be four it is oh my goodness i never expected that four zip spain are in party land is that a pedro hat trick is it a pedro hat trick i can't tell because they look so similar not really but they do in this game they look so similar it is a pedro hat trick he's put his name right down a little marker for top goal scorer of the tournament in his opening game. So Pedro doing the business, increasing his value, shop value for the summer. Maybe he'll uh, he'll get himself uh, a new club. I don't think he's getting... Is he getting much game time at Chelsea? I'm not sure. Obviously, I'm a Blackburn Rovers fan. I, I know I keep harping on about it. And I, I look at the results of the Premier League, but I don't really watch any of the teams. Oh, my God. Don't be five. Do not be five. I've, I've never seen a 5 nil. Is it going to make it five? He has turns and shoots. Is, is the goalkeeper an actual goalkeeper? Or have I stuck a, 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 a midfielder in between the sticks? Anyway, six minutes gone. It's 4-0. But yeah, I don't know how much game time Pedro's getting in there. Obviously, Morata is, is, well, is the leading man. And that is put behind for a corner. Can Portugal get a consolation and maybe, maybe revitalize something? That effort. Oh, straight at the neck of De Gea. He collects it. Cool as you like. Yeah, this is three points in the bag for Spain. No problems. That's just I'm just curious to know if they're going to get any more goals. Spain. Tinkering around. Look at that fancy footwork there. But it's broken up. Portugal now. Trying to find a way in this game. Ah, you know, look at that. That is embarrassing. Portugal 4, Spain. Portugal nil, Spain 4, sorry. It's so balmy. It's making me go mad. And again, put behind for a corner. No, no, they're, they're not taking any chances whatsoever. 
Uh, can they get anything from these corners? Only about a minute left to go in simulation time, and that's dealt with by De Gea. He's looking smart in his 95 jacket. He's punted long. Portugal now. Try to build something. Can they? From the back. Over the top, nicely chipped. Can he get onto it? He does. Take a shot. No, he tries to set up his buddy. No joy, though. Here comes Spain. If they get a fifth, I will be, I will be stunned into silence. And that's probably what you want to hear. Want to hear me look at what? Yeah, yeah. They're 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 showing off now, Spain. Some big tackles coming in, and they do dominate midfield. Lucky rebound, sets up his buddy. But Portugal deal with it. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a, a, a moment of thought here for these two teams. I don't think, I don't think Portugal are going to be. I'm not judging it from this performance. I'm just judging it overall. I don't think they're going to be uh, a key figure in this World Cup. As for Spain, as for Spain, they could they could make the last uh, the last eight or the quarterfinals. But uh, to be honest with you, I just think they lack something up front. But anyway, we'll talk more about Spain the next time we see them. But let's take a look at the statistics here. Look at that, five shots apiece. But for Spain, four of them went in the back of the net. And here's a quick rundown of the goal scorers: Pedro with his hat trick, Costa with the other. We also had a yellow card in Herrera. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.